Now we look at the case of finding shortest paths in a directed acyclic graph. Instantiating the generic shortest path algorithm template in this case is particularly easy. Let's say we want to solve the single source shortest path problem in a DAG. In this case, it is fine to allow negative weights. We still know there, there will be no negative weight cycles since there are no cycles at all. A DAG is a particularly nice case on which to instantiate our generic algorithm. The first step of the algorithm is to compute a topological sort of the graph. Recall that this is an ordering of the vertices such that u is less than v in this ordering whenever there is an edge from u to v. So when we put the vertices on a horizontal line in topologically sorted order, all edges will go from left to right. A topological sort of this example graph is given by the ordering 0, then 5, then 4, then 2, then 3, then 1. Once we have a topological sort of the vertices, we just iterate over the vertices in the topological sorted order. To process a vertex, we relax all its outgoing edges. So this is an instance of our generic shortest path algorithm where the sequence of relaxations is dictated by the topological order. Let's first see what the running time is. We can compute a topological order by depth first search and time of order the number of vertices plus the number of edges. Relaxing an edge takes constant time and in these two for loops here, we relax each edge exactly once. So the running time of the for loops is order the number of edges. This means that overall, the whole running time is order of order the number of vertices plus the number of edges in the adjacency list model. Now let's see why this algorithm works. Suppose that this is a shortest path from vertex zero to vertex V. Then we know that in the topological sort of this graph, zero will be less than u1, which will be less than u2, etc., all the way to v. So by relaxing the outgoing edges of vertices, by going over the vertices in topologically sorted order, we know that we will relax e1 before relaxing e2, before relaxing e3, etc., all the way to ek plus 1. So in other words, we know that we will relax this path. Therefore, we can again apply the relax a path property to see that at the end of the algorithm, we will have dis2 of v to be equal to the distance from 0 to v. And again, by the invariant 2 of the generic algorithm, tracing back using the edge2 array will actually give us a shortest path from vertex 0 to vertex v. So this generic template gives us a very nice shortest path algorithm in a DAG.